So around that time as well, 1994, you were approached by a guy called John Marnie as well to use the brand for cleaning. Mm. Now, and and can you maybe tell people why? You, obviously, we know it's a massive juggernaut now with, with Haydar Hussein in it, but why did you not think it was going to work? Well, we, we'd actually tried cleaning in the past, and it was the, my concept was that this, this image here with the guy with the beard and the hat looks like a gardener, because that's what I used to look like when I was mowing lawns. And I thought that obviously applies to mowing, but cleaning is totally different. It's an inside job. You don't think of a guy with a beard and a hat doing it. Often it's women for a start. So we actually, when we tried cleaning first, we did it with a, uh, we thought it got a different logo. We thought the franchising contracts and stuff would be great, but let's change the logo. So I developed this thing called Sunlight, S-U-N-L-I-T, little sprays and stuff. And I sold a couple of franchises and we started advertising for work and it just didn't go anywhere. I just couldn't find the work. And eventually I went back to these people and said, look, sorry, I'll give you your money back. I, I repaid them completely and gave up. And then, and then this guy came to me, John, and he said, what about Jim's cleaning? And I said, no, that's a, that's a mowing, gardening image. It won't work. And he said, well, well, I think it will. And I said, no, it won't. And he said, look, I'm so convinced it'll work, but I'll give it a try myself. And so they did. I said, okay, well, like, not my cost. You know, we'll take a share of the royalties. Um, which, though I didn't know it was the first stage to what's what we do these days when people start divisions, which is actually they do it themselves and we just help mm. and support them. But he had a go at it and, and it worked. And he described somebody going into a real estate agent and, um, and said, so we're from Jim's Cleaning. And they go, oh, Jim's Cleaning, like the mowing. Oh, yeah. And, and, and their interest sparked up. It had that credibility. So we began it. Um, unfortunately, they didn't go very well. One of the reasons is in those days, every franchisor had their own um, call center because of the way the technology was back in the early 90s. And they set up a call center and they had more staff to look after six franchisees than I did to look after several hundred. So they were wildly overinflated in terms of their costs. And they went bust and I took it back in house eventually. Mm -hmm.